All right, here we go again. Game three, throw versus AAO. Um, both teams tied up one and one. Both team wanting to win to assure that they're done for the day. Well, not done for the day, but you know, that they can move on. Um, what do they got here? We've got Killsteel in the Daring, Mr. Wonga in a Yu Yang, Exot in another Yu Yang, Melvin Wallow in a Harugmo, uh, Y Doom in a Moskva, Jubzy in a Zhao, Teshib Zhao, Lord Crafty One in a Minotaur, and then we've got two battleships, Montana, that's Kath, and Dev Blog Researcher in a Conqueror. I like that name because I feel like at some point that's actually going to be a job. All right, on the other side, opposing them to the south is AAO. They are bringing with them a uh, Harugamo, that's Ezgera, Ma Ar Arnat, sorry, in a Yu Yang, uh, Paul Mentaha in a Vamp Deuce, Fat Vivian in a Daring. For cruiser lineups, we've got Vasca in a Des Moines, and Yamete Onisama in a Salem, backed up by Cutis Taruhi's Kremlin, and they're heading towards the Sea Cap. Uh, backing up the destroyers heading to the A cap is Nicey Nader's Minotaur and Black Blueberry's Yamato. Alright, we'll pan back so you guys can see the uh, the overall battle and how it's looking. Both teams um, have a slightly different strategy. AAO opting for more of a balanced setup and uh, throw. With two battleships are looking, my guess, to hold the sea cap with the beef. And if you look at it, the majority of their ships are actually heading towards the A cap. Very interesting decision making. Um, Pimentaha is going to back into the B cap with his Vamp Deuce. Looking at the weather reports coming in. Oh my god. <laughs> That's going to be... Uh... <sighs> Someone just posted what it's like in Iowa. That's what we're going to run into in a day or two. Not going to be fun. Speaking of not fun, Pymeta is forced away from the B-cap thanks to Wydom's Moskva radar, but he's broadside to Kremlin and... Des Moines. I'm very, very curious. Why you do this? It's almost like he wanted to go here, but missed and beached broadside. So, um, I guess he got schooled in his Moskva armor as he goes down. That's a huge first kill for AAO. But AAO is managing to say, well, you know what? Hey, 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 we want this to be an even match, so I'll tell you what. Why don't you go ahead and kill our Harugamo while you're at it? Esgera now on radar. Um, coming under withering fire. He's still detected now. He's finally off detection. Finally off detection. He's gotta he's gotta do the boogie woogie woogie. And he's shooting his guns! The mad lad. I wouldn't even shoot my guns. Why why let them know where I am exactly? Well, Regardless, they continue to fish uh, for somebody else. They swapped targets. It looks like the target is now Black Blueberry's Yamato. Melvin in the smoke with torpedoes coming in. He'll be fine. He's not even uh, sideways or anything like that. Wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Nah, he's fine. <laughs> oh, no. Our Nat now comes under fire. Uh, flew a little too close to the sun, did ya? Gonna lose a lot of hit points for his trouble. Is Lord Crafty using his radar? Yes, he is. That's 10-kilometer Minotaur radar. And you can see the impact of that 10-kilometer radar. Minotaur, a very strong ship. 
uh, in this game, especially on this map. Meanwhile, over on the other side, AAO manages to grab the C cap and the B cap, finally, thanks to killing off that Moskva. And let's go ahead and back off and take a look at what Throw is doing. Throw is moving into a kiting away position. Vaska in trouble now. Test Jib Zhao opening up on him. There's a fire. Immediate DCP. Montana shells coming in. <laughs> Conga line torpedoes from the Daring. I don't think they have a chance to hit. More Zhao shells coming in from a distance. Vaska deciding he doesn't want any more of this... Zao shenanigans. We don't want to get that ship nerfed at all, so he's going to just back away. Paimantaha using that crawling smoke to move a little bit forward and then back up when the Zao decides to start shooting back. Jubsy continuing to fish in that smoke screen. He's going to come up with nothing. That does kind of hold the Zhao in position for these deep water torpedoes if they have the le No, they don't. <laughs> they ran out of gas, and those deep water torpedoes went deeper. Let's back on down a little bit more, see what else is going on. Health pool-wise, AAO is definitely looking good with almost 100,000 hit points. But that doesn't tell the entire story. If you look at the side panel, you can see that Asgara and the Hargamo is quite low. Vaska and the Des Moines is relatively low, too. Um, whereas if you look at throws on the side panel, really it's just Melvin's Hargamo that is considered really low. Um, and I think throws done a better job overall of spreading out their hit point pool. Now, let's take a look at what's happening here at the B-Cap as Paimantaha is... Well, Killsteel is detected. Oh, Uh-oh. Boss fight music begins as the Montana Koth pushes in. Paimanta doesn't even know this is here. And not only that, but the Des Moines doesn't either. Vasca's going to come right up. Boom. He sees him. He says, oh, in a few words. And then... Pucker up, everybody. Kyth wasn't even prepared for this. He does turn. He does get a decent penetrating hit. That allows Paimantaha to actually get out of the B-cap safely. Very fortunate that uh, Vaska happened to be there at that particular moment. Very impressive. There goes the radar now to make sure that Killsteel cannot go dark. Minotaur shells lobbing in. Esperaza opening up as well with the Harugumo, I'm uh, sorry, Esgera. Um, and he's using his smoke to ensure that his teammates uh, and himself are safe as they continue to just plinker away at Killsteel's daring. Killsteel hasn't gone down yet, though. If Killsteel can somehow survive this, I don't see it, but if he can, here come your model shells. Nope, he does go down. Remember, daring does have a heal. Now, Vasca's in trouble, and um, Fat Vivian's daring has moved around. This might be a good opportunity for him to go into the channel and smoke up his Des Moines buddy, because Vasca's in a really bad spot. Throw knows it, and they are working hard to farm him down. Let's back off for a second, take a look at what's going on over here. It's Kudus Haruhi has some Montana shells coming in. It's a Kremlin. He doesn't care. Now, Fat Vivian's smoking... And opening up with his guns, I think, is a big mistake because Kant immediately sees that and he changes target. He changes course because of that. He moves southward. Jubzy now moving south in the Zhao. Uh... Uh, 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 just trying to draw the Yamato fire, is, is my guess. And, 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 yeah. Folded 1,000 times. Nerfed 1,000 more. Goodbye, Zhao. 
Test chip Zhao goes down. And that'll probably seal the deal for AAO. I'm pretty sure they're going to win this. I don't really see an easy way for Throw to come back, especially with this Montana solo. Um, we haven't seen the Conqueror. There's the dev blog researcher guy over there, but um, we haven't really seen much of him, unfortunately. He was over on the 10 line trying to make things work. Um, but nice hit there on Fat Vivian's Daring. It's a Conqueror HE shell, so it breaks all the things. Forcing the, the uh, DCP. Look at this. Look at this. They, they, they know the, the battleship is way away, so um, when the battleship is away, the Minotaur will play. Nicely Nader just saying, add egg with it. I'm just going to go for it. And Lord Crafty taken down by Vasquez Des Moines. And that will do it for this match. We might have a double death pick. No. Oh well. All right, well, congratulations to AAO winning uh, this uh, best of three engagement against Throw. Whoops. I take you guys to the winner screen first. There we go. There's our our formal congrats.